are CB radios a thing of the past, or is it something that's faded out, that's gone? We're gonna find out. I'm gonna install this thing in my truck, just in case, you never know. With the flood, cell phone service went down for two, three weeks for some people. Some of some people are still down. Something like this right here, maybe what you need. Let's find out. Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Watch your move. Bye. So today what I want to do is I want to go over like emergency communications one more time. We we done a small video and I'll I'll leave a link to it down in the description about emergency radios and communications, you know, if you know if the grid goes down or anything like that. That would help. There's one thing that we're trying to do is we want to go with uh, a CB radio on our vehicles in case, you know, God forbid we had to, you know, ba basically bug out or whatever. But anyway, what we're trying to do is do it low budget because, you know, we are low budget, I guess. But anyway, these radios right here, it's a, it's a Uniden Pro 505 XL. You can get these things on Amazon, I will leave a link to it. They're supposedly really good radios, and there's also a Cobra brand radio. <clears throat> I'll leave a link to that one too, that's a little cheaper. I think this one's like 50 bucks, and then the Cobra radio is like 30 some dollars. It's like the, the small, it's like the small style CB radios. You can get them to where they're huge, you know, like cover up half your dash or whatever. I wanna put one of these in, in my truck that I just got, but you know, for that price, it's worth it. So just to stay in touch with each other, like say like we're on a road trip, we're driving different vehicles or some something along those lines, we can stay in touch without using a cell phone. And these things are also good for like uh, like on long trips and stuff like that. You can put one in your car and you can ride wherever you need to ride to and you can stay in touch with like the truckers and different people that have these radios and they can let you know where the accidents are at. And if you like to put your foot on the gas a little too much, they can tell you when to slow down, I guess. Is the best way to do it. So this thing here, See what all it comes with. Let's see here. Okay. It comes with the radio. And as you can see, it is pretty small. It won't take up a whole lot of room. And these are supposedly really good radios, the Uniden brand. So we'll see, it has the four pin mic. That way you can change the mic. You can get like power mics and all kinds of crap for this thing if you want to. So a little micro, a little, I guess, speaker on the bottom there. Then right here you have the antenna connection. It has a PA. You also have a PA speaker you can put on your hood. Hey, get out of my way, you know, type thing. Or uh, external speaker. Like if this ain't loud enough, you can get an external speaker and mount it somewhere where you can hear it better. Like me, I'm going deaf. Can't see. Can't hear too good. So, something like that to come in handy for me. Let's see what else we got here. Well... I got a little box of something. Okay, the mic. Comes with the mic. Actually, a pretty nice mic. Pretty heavy. A lot of these cheaper radios, you know, the mics and stuff feel real flimsy and real toyish. This thing here feels pretty heavy duty. I mean, it feels good for what it is. Okay, it comes with the mountain hardware and stuff like that. And it comes with a the holder for this, if you want to screw it on your dash or whatever, just clip it right there and hold it. I guess, I guess the mic holder, I guess what you want to call that thing. Okay, here's the little thing you screw on the side. And here is the bracket mounted. Well, that way, we just have it. There's a bracket to mount it. You mount that to your dash, wherever you want to put it. Put it on here and screw it to it, there you go. Then you got a hot the ground that's all you got on this thing you run your antenna right there so you know screw your mic right into the front of it of course like i said this is the four pin mic and you can change this mic for basically any type of mic you want you can change it but this i'm gonna leave this one because i'm trying like i said i'm doing this low budget and it actually feels good the mic actually feels really good it's a 40 channel cb it's uh the quick the channel nine which is the emergency band uh, I guess anybody know anything about CBs, you know, 19 is like where the truckers stay and stuff like that. And nine is for like emergencies. Like if you break down the side of the road, sometimes on channel nine, you can get like 
maybe emergency services or somebody along those lines. And on the front of it, it has a volume off, off and on and volume, and it has a squelch right there, and that's it. It'll be LED display and stuff like that. I will install it in this video and uh, show you guys how it works. But anyway, that's, that's what come in the box. And like I said, these things are supposed to be pretty good radios, the unit and brand. It's the Pro 505 XL. We'll see how good quality it is. Like I said, I'm gonna install it <clears throat> and I'll try to jump through it as fast as I can. That way the video won't be drug out forever and ever and ever. Now what I'm doing first is mounting this bracket that holds the CB. I went ahead and screwed it in there, but what I did use was the self-tapping screws like this. The self-tapping screws is all they are. And these are inch and a quarter, which is way too long. You know, three quarters of an inch would have been plenty, but it's all I had. I had some of these already and I wasn't gonna buy no more when I had these. But I'm, I mean, they're, they're not hitting anything back here in the back. So what I did, I took the cup holder out right here and you can see everything in here to make sure that you ain't gonna run your screws in or nothing. Cause there's some like electrical boxes and stuff down in there. So right now it's not hitting anything, but I've got that mounted. Okay, and you can mount this radio like this that's kind of how that's going to be like that but you know it may be in the way of this opening i believe it is going to be it is yes i'm gonna take it loose i'll be right back let me move it this thing is designed where you can hang this right here on the side, each side of the radio you know for your mic i'm actually gonna mount that thing over here so I'm using those bolt, bolt holes and these screws that come with it to mount the radio to the bracket and then I can just drop it down lower and my cup holder works fine now. And then I'm gonna get this right here mounted, right here. We'll mount it right here somewhere. That way it's here, kinda out of the way. Okay, once again, guys, these are the only screws I have. They're inch and a quarter long. They should be like three quarters of an inch. It'd be plenty to pierce this, but it's all I got. And I'll just check to make sure it ain't gonna hit nothing there. And there's that, right there. Yeah, there's that. All right, here's the, here's the, an, the radio installed. If you, I don't know if you can see it or not back here, but I got the wires kind of behind it and up over this piece here. This right here pulls out so you can access your like heater duct work and stuff like that. I got tucked right in behind that and over at the top of it, like that where you can't see it. You can't even see the wires out of the bottom of it. That's a good thing. And then as I showed before, I've got the mic hanging here like that and it's out of the way it's up there look actually looks pretty good right there it's easy access i have the power and stuff on but i don't have an antenna hooked up yet so it ain't going to uh it ain't going to broadcast anything so as soon as i get the antenna hooked up we'll we'll turn it back on and we'll test it out and see if we can get hold of anybody breaker breaker good buddy come on uh as far as as far as an antenna I have this bracket here that I ordered off Amazon. I'll leave a link to it if anybody's in. If anybody has an F-150 they want to do this with. Or you can get them to fit other type of vehicles. But I'll leave a link to this one just if anybody wants to check it out. It goes like between the hood and the fender. When the hood closes, the hood's right here. And it's like stuck over here on top of the fender. It'll look kind of like a factory antenna type thing. And I've got a steel antenna. So I'm going, it's going to kind of resemble a factory antenna. It's just going to have an antenna on each side now. Which it won't be terribly noticeable but i mean it is what it is i don't care i just wanted something that kind of made it look halfway decent i didn't want like i said i didn't just didn't want a big bull whip antenna hanging off the truck all right here's the uh the antenna mount as you can see right here putting those self-tapping screws into the fender this is designed to go into the fender right where the hood closes where it sticks off to the side here and i've got the antenna wire run and it's run in, I can't really see it too good, it run in into the firewall, okay. And then I went ahead, while I was doing it, I went ahead and run the, the power and the ground wire right here. I need to pretty those up, tie them up, zip tie them up and everything. I just got them laid in there for now because I was making sure everything worked. Right here, I know this is not an ideal place to put it, but I put the hot wire over here on the, the solenoid, the positive side of the solenoid that goes into this. Like I said, I know it's not an ideal place for that, but it has an internal fuse, so I'm not worried about it. So it'll, blow, it'll pop that fuse if it, anything goes wrong. But the battery cable goes from the battery over to there. So I didn't want to run it to the battery. I just keep it back here all the way. So that's the reason I've done that. I put the ground right here 
You can see right there where the body where the body ground is. Okay, on this on this antenna mount, um, I don't know. I want my wire to go directly under the hood right here because I don't, I don't want it laid out across the hood, the fender here. So I want the wire to go hook here and drop directly down in there like that. I mean, I'll zip tie it good and all that stuff out of the way, but I'm afraid that I may have to alter the lip of the hood right here just to hire to keep it from cutting. You know what I mean? Keep it from cutting my line in two. I'll have to figure that out as I go. But whenever I get the antenna on, I'll screw this on, I'll figure out exactly what it needs to be, and I'll ease it too and see if it's going to cut it. If it is, I don't care a bit to kind of notch that out a little bit or bend it in something I did bend it in just a little bit anyway right there because it was hitting these bolts right here it was hitting these bolts so anyway that's how that bolts it you got two into the fender and two into the bottom side of the fender here and it's definitely I mean it's it's definitely on there pretty good it's not going anywhere howdy guys right here's the <clears throat> final install of the antenna um, as you can check out my bracket on but if you look right here, I did have to put two washers on each side of it right there to push it out that way more. That way I can put my line right here. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but run it right through it right there. Give me a gap there, that's what it done. That way the hood, when the hood closes, it won't cut my cord in two. And it fit perfect right there. And it also gave, the hood will hit this before it hits my cord now. See, right there. So, anyway, it's not hitting at all now. I did take... And uh, it, it ain't that bad, but I did knock it in just a little bit right there to keep it from like the slicing effect there. And here's the antenna, it's tunable. I'm tuning, it's got tuning rings on it. And you can also adjust it here if you wanna SWR, if you wanna raise it or lower or whatever, you can adjust that out. <clears throat> but that's there. So that is the final install of the antenna. All right, guys, another thing about the antenna is I grounded it. If you look right under there, there's a ground lug. I did put a wire on it. That's what this red wire is right here. And I run it over there. And I also grounded it with a body mount right there. Right there, if you can see that mount right there. That mount right there is a body mount, but it also grounds the engine to the body. That's what that other cable is right there. So it's got three, four different points of grounding right there. All right, guys, as you can see, the, the radio is mounted. I mounted it here, I done showed this. It's it real snug in there. It's not going anywhere. It won't vibrate, won't bounce. All the wires are hid, and behind it here, you can't see nothing. None of the wires. That way, you can't hit your feet on them or anything like that. All right, now as I showed, I got the mic hanging here, which is a good spot. Good spot for it right there because you can reach and grab it. It's right there, out of the way. I mean, you can, people do mount them like on the sides of the radios, but I don't much like that. I like it up there where I can get to it if I need to. Here it is. It's on channel 19. This is the trucker station. Uh, as you can see, you can adjust the squelch down. We can get to the lower power signals or turn it up here to where it stops. Now, as you can, I don't, well, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the meter goes up a little bit right there. So you're getting a stronger signals coming in only. And this antenna's supposed to pick up pretty good. Let's see what we got here. Hey, break on one now. I get a radio check, please. Loud and clear. Hey, 10-4, I appreciate it. All right, guys, as you can see, it is working, working pretty good. It reached out there pretty far. I don't know exactly how far. I can't say because I really don't know that much about them, just to be honest with you. I don't know how to do any type of SWR, you know, testing or anything like that. The only thing I know how to do is hook it up, test it, and I'm I'm sure it gets out there two or three miles. I'm sure it is, but I will test it more, and I'll, you know, keep people up there if they want to know more about it. it. Seems to be a pretty good radio. I've seen a lot of good reviews on it. And antenna, I will leave links down in the description. Anybody wants to check them out. They seem to be pretty good radios, and it started working pretty much right out of the gate. These things, you can uh, you can fine-tune them ever how you want to do that. I don't know that much about them like I was saying. You can fine-tune that radio. It's got tuning ring. The antenna has tuning rings on it. You can tune it, fine-tune it any way you want. Right now, it's working. It's getting out as you saw. So I'm going to leave it like it is, and we'll we'll play with it more and more as we go along. But anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, I hope you liked the video, and if you have, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we appreciate it, and we will catch you on the next one. Like, subscribe, watch another video. Bye.